Hello dear student, welcome to another lesson in uh, Schools of Linguistics. Today we'll be talking about the London School. The London School of Linguistics or the London School of Structuralism trend in contemporary structural linguistics. So basically London School has uh, some of the claims of structural linguistics. Okay. The London School of Linguistics is involved with the study of language on the descriptive plane, that is synchronically, the distinguishing of structural, that is syntagmatic, uh, and the systemic, which is paradigmatic concepts and the social aspects of language. So basically, the London School studies language uh, synchronically, that is at a, a point in time, and then distinguishes it distinguishes uh, the, uh, the structural uh, and systemic concepts, okay, and the social aspects of functions. So it studies also how language is uh, used in, in context, which is uh, pragmatics. The London uh, School rejects the concept of the speech collective and social experience and studies the speech of individuals. So the London School uh, studies does not, okay, rejects the concept of the speech collective, does not study language or how language is used by, uh, by, by the society, but how it is used by individuals. So it studies the individual speech, it does not study the speech of, of, of the, the, collective, uh, pe the, the collective people. So it doesn't study how language is used by uh, how the, the entire society, but how it is used by individuals, okay, each individual uh, on its own. The school's primary contribution to linguistics has been the situational theory of meaning in semantics, which studies the, the, the uh, which is about the dependence of the meaning of a linguistic on it on its use in context. So it studies this this situational okay semantics like pragmatics. Okay, it's the semantics, the meaning in, in situations. And also the prosthetic analysis in phonology, that is the consideration of the phenomena uh, accruing to a sound, that is the number and the nature of syllable, morphemes, boundaries, uh, and, and, and stress. Okay, so it studies the prosthetic analysis uh, in phonology. Prosthetic, we're talking about syllable, we're talking about uh, stress, so these are prosthetic. Um, element, prosodic features. They are beyond the segmental uh, level, beyond uh, segments, beyond phonemes, etc. The London School had three main representatives. So these are the linguists, the main linguists in London School. The first one is Henry Sweet, 1945-19 this um, so Sweet published work on phonetics and grammar in language and the teaching of languages. So he basically works on phonetics and the grammar. But he also provided some, uh, uh, you know, textbooks, etc., and theories uh, that have to do with teaching. Daniel Jones, 1981. Sorry, that's another eight there. So it's 1981 to. Uh, sorry, 1881, okay, 1881, 1967. So we should correct the date. Sorry, I didn't correct it. Okay, so it's uh, 1881, 1967. British uh, phonetician who was involved in the development of the International Phonetic Alphabet, the IPA. Basically, IPA is, uh, it consists of the sounds of languages like all the sounds, all the phonemes, etc., of all languages. So he was one of the of the linguists who who worked on this, um, you know, on this uh, phonemes and and segments of languages. Okay, it was it is called the International Phonetic Alphabet. And then we have the last uh, linguist, John Robert Firth. Okay, he had lived some time in India and studied its language. 
Okay, and then he became a professor in, in, in Britain. Okay. So his theory of prosthetic analysis focused on phonetic elements larger than individual sounds. So Firth also was concerned with the meaning, influenced by Malinowski, 1984-1942, uh, and developed a contextual theory, contextual theory of meaning that accorded a crucial role to use in context. So basically Firth focused on the prosody analysis of, of languages, phonetic, of, of um, phonetics, okay? Some elements that are larger than sounds, like stress, like syllable, etc. And then he was also concerned with the meaning, uh, with, with, with semantics, basically. He was influenced by Malinowski, and then he developed uh, a theory of meaning, which is called the context for theory, okay? In which he talked about the crucial role of language in in context okay the use of language in context thank you very much and see you in the next video